Hello, welcome back, it's Arma Bricks, and today I decided to do a bit different video, more like a vlog where I could share some of the things that are happening a bit outside of regular work uh, that I do with LEGO, like uh, building the city, reviews, uh, or whatever else that comes to my plate. So, I was... Uh, uh, kind of uh, working with medieval area in past uh, half a year if you recall and I released a video where I was building these trees and uh, it went quite well in my opinion but I wanted to figure out if they could be improved somehow and what I did I came up with buying these parts which are angled ones and i decided to put the leaf elements in an angle so so instead of having uh, horizontal uh, lines uh, the, the leaves i decided to put it on the angled basis and it looks like that so as you can see, it's totally different uh, tree right now. And I'm a bit struggling again because I'm wondering if at this point such tree should not be a bit bigger or have something on the top because the top is basically empty space, which is not looking that good. So between these two trees, I'm, I'm still trying to decide which one is better. And I would like to get your opinion. From, from one angle, I would say that the old one is the better one. But from the other side, I, I, I do like that angled leaf placement. So not sure if to go to redo this to this format or to keep as is, or to figure out something else. So guys, let me know in the comments below what do you think about the trees. Okay, let's move on to another thing that uh, was happening. So recently in the Facebook, I have noticed a Clipper, the guy from the old Microsoft uh, products, that was helping you out on daily basis and it was in the form of Lego. So I decided to uh, do uh, the necessary things by uh, gathering all the pieces that I need for it and just following instructions to build it. And I was really disappointed because this thing was designed in uh, the Brickling Studio or whatever it is uh, the, the tools that you use for the virtual creation of, of models and it simply does not work in the real life and this is upgraded version by the way that I did on top of that because the main problem that I faced that all this part was leaning to the right side and still you can see that how easy to, to destroy and move all the things is so definitely the guys who are working with uh, the software not the pieces are doing good job but if guys you are not checking your builds afterwards with real pieces then it's a problem and in this case it was a problem i had to do something about it also i need to figure out what to do else uh, because I, if i will try to move and as you can see, it wobbles, it, it moves around, it's just a totally mess. So, basically, I've spent the money for the parts, just, it was thrown away. So, I'm really disappointed. And I looked at the YouTube, there are several uh, channels, several guys, Safels from the LEGO community that shares their insight on similar things where they build the lightsabers from lego and they are just uh, breaking down due to stability issues and and no one uh, basically 
did any uh, actual uh, experiments or uh, tried that uh, them out in the real life. So yeah, uh, be careful, guys. If you are buying the parts for something custom that are coming from Rebrickable or other sources, or if you are buying even instructions. Take a look at the comments or ask the designer to check if that was built in the real life with the real pieces. If not, you could face some stability issues and either you will need to fix them yourself or just scrap everything and uh, just part out all the items to your uh, inventor. So yeah, uh, this is my observation and yeah, again, I, I thought that I will have a uh, proper Lego stuff that I would be able to use, but again, it's a really disappointment for me. Yeah. Okay. Again, let's move on to the other things that I wanted to share. So I do have uh, these uh, bins for my Lego parts from Ikea. And what I did recently, I've uh, ordered, uh, sorted them out according to specific types of uh, the bricks or plates or tiles, whatever it is. So as you can see, they are now sorted and it is pretty uh, big wall of the pieces. We do have also some of them right here sitting in the right side. And what I did in addition, I've just labeled some of those which have more than one bin. So I would be easily see which bins are for which parts. So if you are sorting your parts, I do believe this could work out. First of all, sorting by colors and then sorting by type of uh, the Lego brick. So yeah. This is what I basically wanted to share with you this time. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to ask me or that I would show to you guys. So I'm welcome to any of your comments. And next time we will see you in the review because I'm aiming to build one of the mocks from one of the sets that were released uh, on January 1st and will be integrating into the Lego city. And there are three buildings that will be uh, built in my Lego city. So yes, the Lego city will be fully finished in terms of the space. There will be no leftovers. So stay tuned. Uh, another video will come by. And thank you for watching. And see you guys next time. Goodbye.